So we're back out this weekend. Uh, I'm out with uh, Gaz the Explorer. Hi. He says hi, and uh, we're off out camping at Loch Clooney. It's a bit of an effort this one. It took me six hours to get here because of traffic mostly. It usually takes about four and a half hours. Not too far from the Isle of Skye. Isle of Skye is like a 40 minute drive in that direction. We're spending a night, potentially two nights myself, with Gaz. And we're doing some Munro's in this area. Camera looks great, Monty. What? I'm going to have to stand up here just to be in it. All right, the camera, are you on here? It looks taller than me now, jeez, oh. Power move, power move. Weather. You might see some like drizzly rain or rain showers, but I think it's to be mostly dry today and tomorrow. Um, guys are sleeping in the car. Yeah. But hope you enjoy the video, guys. Back out uh, camping. Uh, we're actually at a car camping spot, as you'll see in a second. Maybe guys will spin round and show you. There we go, we've got the cars over there, and then you've got the, the Clooney Inn, both a pub and a restaurant, and a wee bakery over there. So I'm back out, and I've got the 3F UL Tasia with me. We just found out, it's a four season tent, but it only weighs in at 2.1 kilograms, so that's surprisingly light. I thought it was a wee bit heavier, maybe 2.5, 2.6. But standard dome tent, and you've got your four guy out points. So you want to have a little look inside. Oh, that's, that's a plant. Uh, so we just zip it up from here, and you've got a nice symmetrical Good sized vestibule on either end. This holds in pretty well. You know how some of them you roll them back and it's still flappy bird. Um, in fact, is it dinner that's more like that's a little bit better? Just clip it on like that, and honestly, you just clip it in like that. You just clip it in like that. You just there we go. Holds in pretty well. I'm actually happy with that. Gaz, your pegging skills are shambles, mate. And get that fit that in. There you go, gives you an idea. Nice, spacious vestibule. And again, it's like that on our end. We've got little vents here. Pretty cool, not going to lie. Little, little windows. Can you see the vents? You Up and under. Up and under, Gaz. There we go. Geek, here we go. So let's have a look inside. It's roomy, ain't it? Guys, they can't see you nod. The guys is nodding. Alright, so we zip it down. Open it up and like holding the exterior, the fly sheet, you just roll it up. And then you tuck it in. And you've got little loops here. And this little is that what do you call them? Coggles. Coggles. I was about to call them a coggle. So tonight's setup. I've got with me the Doubter Exosphere. Stretches by, I can't remember what, so I'll just say 25%. I'm always changing the figures, but I'm pretty sure it's 25%. Comfort minus four, limit minus 10. Gaz is having, Gaz is laughing. He's put me off, guys, put me off. It's to get down to about, we're expecting. It could be around freezing, so we might see some frost. You know, but even if June and we're seeing some frost, get my trusty flannel pillow. And this here has been man of the match for a while. That's the light tour sleeping mat. Says it here, a light tour. It's just called the light tour, and you've got a variety to pick from. This one has got an R value of 5.8. Um, 5.8, that should take you down to about minus 20, minus 25, I reckon. But we're not going to see that tonight. But the reason why I brought it is because I'm still checking it out, testing it out. Um, I've had super comfortable sleeps, and when I was here the last time, flat ground. So looking forward to sleeping on this on nice flat ground. That is probably the most comfortable mat that I've ever slept on. And of course the big Agnes third degree. Um, give you an idea of the headroom. Come on in guys, come on in mate. You coming in Mimi? Come on, come on, come on in, come on in guys enjoying this. Fine. Let's get cosy, come on in mate. Get in, get in the van. There we go. Cosy a bit mate. It's fine. It's fine, yeah. at that. I mean, run, I'm a big giant of a man. Not even sitting in the centre where the greatest height is. And yeah, it's a, it's a definite, a true definition of a two person tent. True definition. Um, what are you thinking about, guys? Thinking about getting it? No. That's the last thing I need to be getting. He, he, he's got enough tents. Yeah, yeah. But I'll show you the surrounding area. So, me and Gaz, we're doing two Monroes tomorrow. Which? Three. Three, three Monroes, the Brothers Ridge. Yeah. Do you know the name of all of them? Doesn't even the doesn't know the name of all of them. Do you know the heights? No. 
Monroe <laughs> status. Monroe status. Usually I'm quite good at but that. If you want an idea, it's the pointy one. Is that the first one? Is that, is that a Monroe or is the Monroe the one at the back? Uh, to be honest with you, I have a tomorrow. I'm just, I'm just going to figure out the motor when we're on it. Well, one's called Sea Leg. One got, one's got, we're just, we're just winging it, guys. We're, 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 we're going up in sandals without waterproofs. We're just winging it, absolutely winging it. No, I remember one. Sea Leg, that's the first one we're doing. Eh? Sea Leg's the first one. We're expecting it to take between, well, what, what Kylan says, six to eight hours. Last year, we had probably smashed down about five guys, four, but Dude, my legs have been poor. Like. Remember, yeah. I caught you last week. Caught me last week, as you'll see from the previous video, but um, I, my, my legs are not on form this year, so it'll probably take about nine hours. Look at them views. That one there's Loch Clooney and absolutely stunning. Um, I'll certainly be coming to this spot more often. What do you think, guys? There's better spots actually out there, in my opinion, but this is all right. Apparently there's better spots over there. This ridge here, that's the Glen Shield 7. I was crying around that part, and Gaz was carrying me emotionally and physically at that part. Just get in. Get, get in the van. Right, uh, what's the set up, guys? Ah, I'm inside the car. That's, we got. So that's the tent for tonight. It's quite a heavy tent. Um, I've got the Feminist High period on, whenever not, in the summer. The it's been that long since I used it, uh, I can't remember the stats on it. So it's minus six, limit, I uh, zero degrees comfort, eh? So, that's that. Feminist Xfern Neo I think that's like 6.9, 7R value, whatever. 7.2 mate, mate. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd 6 just, well, I've seen different stats, eh? But, Mace websites say 6.9, so I've actually just started saying that now. What you know what your tent for? Ugh, I can't be bored with the drying it when I get home. I know it's going to be like 25 degrees next and week. Not eh, rainy. But, nah, just, I prefer being in the car, eh? That's a nice flat spot. Um, that's my backpack for tomorrow, if anyone's interested. It's packed, it weighs about 4 kilograms or something. The so. Osprey. Oh, no, it's the Talon. I've got the Talon 22, 33, 44, and 55. It's my favourite backpack, eh? And I've got um, I've, I've got this power station. That could be quite get quite an interesting one. I'll bring that out. Just stop it now. This is my wee power station that I've got. Ah, it's not coming out. Came out. So ah, it's a blue eighty. Oh, I've got my trampy shoes in it. Eh? Uh, but yeah, uh, this is my wee power station. Eh? It's it's for like when I'm car camping. The main reason why I bought it is uh, for that, for charging my laptop. Eh? But it's like a 30 hour battery life. But the more you plug into it, the less, the, the more it goes down. Eh? So like if you've got like your phone, wallet, and <laughs> phone, wallet, fuck's sake. Charging your wallet, mate. <laughs> Language. Language. <laughs> Language. <laughs> oh, I was going to say if you've got like your phone, laptop, and like maybe your microphones or something plugged in. You can like, it's like free hour like battery life, eh? so it charges up no bother. But what I like about it is it charges really quickly. Eh? Um, it's got a wee carry handle there. To be honest, I can nothing about it actually, I just bought it. Um, it costs a few hundred quid right enough, but it's, it really is quite reliable. You can charge it in your, your car. So when, like if you're driving like be between car camping spots, eh? you can just charge it up and it's ready for your next spot for the following night. But like I said, I've... If I'm out six or seven days and I've got quite a lot of videos to edit, my, my laptop's not going to last the whole trip, is it? So that's why I bought it. Um. What you having, guys? Burger. What's in it? Just cheese. You took all the veg out and I ate it, didn't you? Um, guys, got fries and I've got myself a Mediterranean diet. I get tomatoes, cucumber, lettuce, feta, peppers. And I believe there's olives in there. I'm not a fan of olives, but hey ho.
How is the burger? It's all right, eh? Touch the nice stuff. Proper normal kind of food, not just wait for it. Just waiting for forks. Right. No, it's hard Don't talk when I'm walking in front because the microphone's not going to pick you up. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep. This is staying in. Anyway. We just came off the Glen Shield Ridge, we thought we'd just go and smash the seven of them, we did it about an hour, an hour and a half, uh, legs are feeling great, so I reckon we're going to uh, kick it out of the park tomorrow, but yeah, we're just back from having a romantic meal in the Cluny Inn. <laughs> Guys, they can't hear it, stop talking, the, the, the microphone's over in this direction, go for it, we need to get really close though. We need to get both of us in. Right? Just say you had done the South Clown Shield Ridge, then you went, ah, well, we just went to the Clooney Inn as well. <laughs> Aye, we went to two places at once. We done, we done uh, the Clooney Inn first after a romantic meal. We went up and smashed seven uh, Monroe's in like a uh, hour yeah. and a half, and now here we are, um, absolutely winging it. Aye. So, the plan is to come back to this area because there's like, don't, don't, don't go off on a tangent. In this surrounding area, You've got the seven there, you've got three over there, you've got two over there, you've got one over there, you've got three there, and then three at the back. So, two at the back. we wreck two at the back. No, three, the, the, the five sisters I can tell is three Monroe's. Yeah, there's, there's two, and then there's two out there too. A glass bend, bend further. But is that not towards the campsite, towards that little village at the other the, the other? You're not actually as far as you think, you can actually add the saddle that's going to ski on to oh, the South Glenshaw Ridge. I thought you accessed them from Loch. Koi, <laughs> however you want to pronounce it. And a glass bearing bed further a wee bit further down right and off, eh? They did maybe 20, 30 minutes away from here. On the road. So is. we'll definitely be coming back to this uh, region, um, this area, this little spot in the future to take out all those Monroes, although Gaz has already done a couple of them anyway. But what we're going to do now is uh, get back to the tent. I think Gaz is going to the car and uh, I'm just going to sit in the tent and read my book. But I hope you guys have been enjoying, enjoy, enjoy, enjoying, enjoy, how do you say enjoying? En enjoying. The, enjoying the content, uh, the unorthodox content. Alright, how's it going? So, about half past ten and I'm getting tired. It's been a good week camp so far. We just chilled, waiting for a romantic meal. We went for a romantic stroll. And then we just uh, chatted for a bit in the car and then went our separate ways. So I'm just sitting here reading the book by Chris Van Tolkien on ultra processed foods. It's helped me stop binge eating. No longer crave food. I've actually been eating so, um, super healthy and feel great about it. So I'd recommend that book, especially if you want to change your eating habits. You've got two gentlemen over there sitting around the fire and having some fun. And you've got two people pitching up to the right to me here. So, I'll let you know how me and Gaz get in the morning, but I'm on super flat ground and this sleeping mat by Light Tour is just utterly outstanding. So if there's a product that I recommend, Light Tour sleeping mat. So, catch you on in the morning. Good morning. So, um, it was not too bad last night. Temperatures got down to about 5 Celsius, but I was super warm in that sleeping bag from Doubter. And see this mat here, the light tour. It's the most comfortable, by far, mat in the market. Again, you've got different variations from it, but this um, honeycomb design, uh, it's got an value at 5.8, but you can get like uh, summer versions of it. Really flat ground today, and it was incredibly comfortable. Um, so that is now my preferred mat. Um, you, you do you. So it's about Half past seven in the morning, what we're going to do now is uh, get packed up and then head up to the mountains. We've got three to do, and they can take anywhere between, um, but I believe, six and eight hours. So I hope to get smashed out of the park um, around about six hours, and if we do it a little bit earlier than that, a little bit quicker, there's another Monroe that you can add on. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. And I'll see you on the next adventure.